we live in the world, but the world spins around. It has gain and then there's loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things spin around. And if we let them loom large in our lives, we start spinning around too. We lose our sense of direction, what's right, what's wrong, what's skillful, what's not. And the world offers no guarantee. They'll tell you what to do, but they can't guarantee that if you follow their instructions, you're going to find happiness. This is why we need the Dharma. The Dharma is something that doesn't spin. It stays in place. It's always true. Whether there's a Buddha to discover it or not, the Dharma is always there. What does the Dharma teach us? It teaches us the big problem in life is the suffering that we create for ourselves. So the solution is not going to lie in getting more gain and status and praise and pleasure. Because we can turn those things into, into suffering. We have to learn how to contemplate these things and contemplate their opposites and get the best use out of both. If we can lift our minds above the world. Now we can see that even loss and loss of status and criticism and pain have their uses. And that way we benefit no matter what happens in the world. That's the skill we need to master. And we do it by training the mind. We train it in generosity, we train it in virtue, we train it in meditation. Especially in the meditation, because where does the generosity and virtue come from? It comes from the mind. So we work directly on the mind with the meditation, but we work indirectly through the generosity and virtue. All come down to training the mind to look after itself. We have that phrase in the chant, may I look after myself with ease. It also could mean, may I look after myself happily. And the way you look after yourself happily is by getting the mind above the world, lifting it up, bringing it into the meditation. In the canon, they make a comparison with someone standing in a high tower, looking down at people below. And you can see the affairs of the world and yet not be involved in them, not get embroiled in them. You can view them with a certain amount of detachment. Then you begin to see the world just goes around and around and around. Whereas if you stay up in your high tower, you don't have to go around with it. And that way you can maintain your sense of north and south, east and west, right and wrong. Live in the world but not be soiled by the world. That's what they say. The image they give is of a lotus. rises up above the mud, and when it opens its petals, the petals are totally pure. So try to lift the mind above the, the affairs of the world. Take them as Dharma lessons. When you see people misbehaving, remind yourself, this is what misbehavior looks like. If I do it, this is what it's going to look like. When you see people behaving well, ask yourself, do I have that in myself? If I don't, I can develop it, because after all, they're human beings, I'm a human being. They can do it, so can I. That's how you benefit by being in the world and above it at the same time.